welcome back to my channel. It's Mina Camille here and we are back with another fragrance video. Today we are going to be talking about the Private Mood House. It is relatively new within the last few years or so and it is a house of Vermont. My favorite. So I wanted to do a little review, uh, tell you what I don't like, what I like, what fragrances I think are my favorites, uh, what fragrances are not so much on my list. And yeah, let's just get into it. Let's have a little chit chat. This isn't going to be a thorough review like my other ones. Um, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview, tell you some of the notes, tell you what I think, uh, but we're not going to do any comparisons or anything like that. If you want to see a specific review on one of these fragrances, just let me know in the comments box below and I'll be sure to do that for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, just a little quick things. Uh, the bottle, I'll post one up on the screen here. Um, simple square white bottle, gold caps, a uh, sticker on the front with the name and everything like that. Um, as I mentioned before, these are all Gourmands. And the price range, I believe they're all the same price and they retail at about $150. I got this sample from Lucky Scent, um, but I'm sure you can find them other places as well. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the lineup. I ranked these from my least favorite to my favorite. <laughs> so coming in at number five, this is my least favorite scent. Um, this is the Vanille et Cognac. Ironically, this fragrance is the strongest out of all of them and it has, it's the strongest, the most silage, and the longest lasting out of all of the fragrances. But it's also my least favorite and I'll tell you why in just a second. Um, but let's just go ahead and do a quick overview of the notes. We have Cognac Accord, Bitter Almond, Orange Blossom, Tonka Bean, Patchouli, Vanilla, Guacquid, and Amber. Um, usually these notes would be right up my alley. However, I don't know what it is lately. I don't know if it's my current mood because this wasn't always the case. But I'm not really feeling the boozy fragrances that much, you guys. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but lately... I just have not been feeling anything where I can smell a lot of the alcohol, or a lot of the booze, liqueur, whatever. Um, and this one, the cognac, to me, especially when I put it on my skin, it's it's strong. It's strong. It's in the same realm or same DNA as Angel Share, and it has a hefty silage. Um, definitely, to me, the only unisex one in the lineup. Uh, the rest of them are very feminine leaning. Yeah, it's definitely a boozy gourmand. It's sweet. It's spicy. When you first smell it, the cognac and the orange are at the top, definitely. Um, yeah, it, it's angel share, but not as good, to be honest. Uh, the almond, I wish that the almond would have pulled through more. I feel like that would have maybe set it apart from some of the other ones on the market and made it stand out a little bit more. But yeah, it's just... It's a similar scent in the wheelhouse. Nothing to write home about, honestly. It's not It's not special. It's not my favorite out of the bunch. Um, so yeah, that is Velvet or Vanille et Cognac. Number, coming in at number four is Velvet Cocoa. This is a coconut gourmand scent. The notes are coconut milk, or sorry, coconut water, coconut flour, magnolia, vanilla, and musk. And it is a powdery coconut scent. Um, it's similar to another fragrance that I'm going to mention, but, uh, it's not, it doesn't really have a silage. It doesn't really have longevity. It's definitely coconutty. But not a tropical juicy coconut. It's more like a skin scent or like a soft musky coconut, you know, coconut vanilla type thing. Um, it smells like a body lotion. It's nothing special. 
honestly. This one was also a miss for me. That's why it's in at number four. Just because it's, it does smell good. Don't get me wrong. It smells good. If you love coconut, try it. But there are so many other options for coconut on the market that I just think are better. Um, I, this one just falls flat for me. Yeah, it just it falls flat. Um, it's very much, honestly, it could be tied with Penel at Cognac. It's just the way I happen to write them on the list. Um, both have the same issue for me. It's It's been done so many times and there's nothing quite unique about it. They're not bad fragrances though, by any means. It's just that I've smelled them before. You know what I mean? So it's not, it's not something that I got excited about when I smelled it. Next on the list, I have Cotton Candy. This is coming in third place. Um, this one is Coconut Milk, Cotton Candy Accord, Vanilla and Musk. And I really had high hopes for this fragrance um, because it's called Cotton Candy, like, come on. But honestly, it's more of a skin scent. It's very soft and I, it smells more coconut-ish than Cotton Candy. I guess I can see the cotton candy coming through. It's definitely sweet. It's not what I expected. Um, and it's not as sweet as I expected it to be. But it is good. It's sweet. It's light. It's creamy. I don't think that this is something that I would wear. I don't think that this this doesn't give like grown and sexy. And granted the name cotton candy, like you're not expecting it to. This definitely gives more playful... Um, Yeah, it's it's almost like tonic. It's like milky. Of course, it does have coconut milk, so I guess. Um, but it's just not for me personally. Yeah, I think this would be a great bedtime scent, um, a great cozy scent when you're at home or if you work from home and you just want to put on something nice uh, and uplifting. But, you know, I wouldn't necessarily like reach for this to go out, if you know what I mean. But it is pretty. Um, it's nice, it's pretty, it's, you know, she's cute, um, but she's not as good as the top two out of the line, in my opinion. So, that being said, let's move over to second place. We have So Vanilla. This is a vanilla, lemon flower, sweet orange, gingerbread, and patchouli scent. I like this fragrance. I... It's very, it's an intriguing vanilla. When I read the name So Vanilla, I was thinking this was going to be like a straight up vanilla, their version of a vanilla gourmand, but it's not. It's, it's gourmand and it's vanilla, but it's a lemony vanilla. It's so good. It's yummy. It puts me in the mind of, and I know this is going to sound weird because it's lemon, but it puts me in the mind of the Starbucks uh, Cranberry Bliss Bars. Like if you ever ordered one of those like during the, like around Christmas time and you smelled it, you know how it's like that creamy, I don't know, like the icing. And then they have like these um, uh, lemon peel shavings on top. That's what this reminds me of. Almost like a lemon cake but not like acro. I feel like acro's bake is the perfect interpretation of an iced lemon pound cake. This doesn't give me that, but it's close to it. It's very, it's very lemon cake-ish to me, or lemon cake adjacent, maybe like a lemon icing. It's intriguing. I, I, I really enjoy this fragrance. Um, there is something in here that puts me in the mind, like a slight faint note of cleaning products, but I don't want that. I feel like every time that said, it's like, ooh, no. But I mean, you know like the good lemon, like the sugared lemon cleaning products? Is something about the lemon. It's like an artificial lemon. But I love it. It smells really good. It's It really reminds me of like getting some sort of Christmas pastry at Starbucks in the morning. I recommend. I like this fragrance. Um, I was very tickled when I smelled it. So I was like, oh, this is 
you know, kind of different. And lately I've been reaching or looking for lemon scents. Um, Bake is just an amazing one. I think Bake, if it's between this one and Bake, I would probably go the Bake route, but there is something very nice about this one that I really like. Do you need both? Absolutely not, but there are different enough that you could justify getting both in your collection. You know, in the same way that we can justify getting stuff we don't need at Target. That's the same way you can justify having both of these in your collection. So just keep that in mind. As we move into the number one spot, uh, my favorite out of the line, although it was a toss up between this and So Vanilla, I'm going to have to go with my girl, Berrylicious. Berrylicious is sweet orange, lemon flower, red fruits, blackberry, white rose, and vanilla absolute. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. You hear me? It smells so good. Make no mistake about it. I feel like berry scents are really hard to achieve, especially like a fresh strawberry. This smells like juicy fruits, but it is an artificialness to it. It doesn't quite smell real. It smells like juicy strawberries. It says blackberries in here, but I get like juicy strawberries, juicy red fruits. You can smell the sweet orange a little bit at the top. I really enjoy this. I really do. It's something nostalgic about it. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of strawberry shortcake. You know, it'd be like the, the um, it would be like the little vanilla sponge cake and then you would buy the strawberries, soak the strawberries in a, um, like sugar water. Did you guys used to do that? Soak it in sugar water so it gets like real sweet. And then you would put those strawberries on there, put some whipped cream or some Cool Whip specifically. That's what this reminds me of. Like the sugared strawberries or even the artificial syrupy strawberries that you would get at like a pancake house you know how they would put them on top of the pancakes that's what this reminds me of the artificial syrupy strawberries with a cool whip on top on top of like a vanilla sponge cake that is this if you can imagine that that is this set it does it's worth a try for berry lovers but go into it knowing that it's somewhat synthetic it kind of puts you in the mind of like a DNA of a Marc Jacobs scent or an Escada scent, you know, where it's like artificial fruit, fruit punch or something like that. But it's really good. I really enjoy this. I recommend trying it out. I would definitely say out of the two, the only ones of note for me are Berrylicious and So Vanilla. The other three, eh, if you've tried this and you like any of the ones I mentioned or, you know, whatever your experience is, please comment below and let me know. Um, also, I think I may have mentioned this before, but I am on the hunt for a really good strawberry scent. So if you have one, let me know. Or if you want me to test out one so that you don't have to, let me know and I'll be happy to do that because I am on a hunt for that. I want to do... Um, a video with that soon so we'll see if I find any ones that I like but that is all that I have for today um, oh let me go over final thoughts overall um, I think that this house is mass appeasing I think that the fragrances are definitely safe um, but I think the reason why I don't like the house as much overall is because I think they're a little too safe. I think that the line could have been pushed, especially for it being a niche brand. I think that um, they, you know, we could have gone a little bit further um, to kind of bring that wow factor or just some uniqueness. Uh, Berrylicious is great. Um, Sylvanella is great. But overall, it's just something lacking. And I will say, the perform the performance, um, not the best, not the best out of all of them. Uh, the vanille et cognac is the longest lasting and the strongest, but that 
that silage and that long lasting effect is honestly what I expect. That's like the minimal of what I expect from a niche house. Um, so it, it wasn't like that one was like super exceeding expectations. It was just that that one kind of met expectations and the other ones fell short. Um, specifically, I think cotton candy, uh, cotton candy specifically like disappeared so quick. It was like two hours and it was gone. I couldn't even smell it. Uh, kind of the same thing with Velvet Coco. Very licious stuck around. Very licious held out a little bit, a little bit, but still not what I have wanted it to, especially because it's a lighter scent. It's like I need it to last a little bit longer. Um, and so vanilla kind of also turns into a little skin scent, but yeah. Those are my final thoughts. Uh, again, please like, comment, subscribe, and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can see all of the other videos that I have coming and that I have planned. And yeah, just let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.